Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying structure in C programming. This video will cover how to return a structure variable from function. In last video, we saw how to pass a structure variable to the function. But this video will focus on how to return a structure variable from function. See, all of you are aware of that function can return a value, right? And we also studied that function can return a single value. But if that values, if multiple values are composed in a single structure variable, okay, that single structure can be written. So remember this thing, okay. So again, this uh, particular concept also cover how to pass a structure variable to the function, okay. So both the concepts will be get covered here. So basically, you should aware of user defined function in C programming. Okay, so let us start. Now the example that we are going to consider here is of fractional number. I hope you are aware of this fraction. In maths, there is a concept of fractional number. How fractions are represented? Let me give an example. 3 by 4. This is a fraction. So this is what? This is your numerator. And this is your denominator. Okay. So basically the number which is represented in the form of numerator and denominator is called as fraction. Now if you carefully say this, you will find that there is no data type available in C to represent this number. Basically how we represent this number? We represent this number in a decimal point. Or in a decimal number format but we can't represent our number like this 3 by 4 so what we can do we can create our own data type okay with the help of structure we already studied that we can create our own data type so let us create a fraction data type so let me define it here say struct let us name our structure as fraction itself now what can be the members of a fraction structure, numerator and denominator, right? And both will be of type integer. So, let us declare it. So, I am just defining it in an abbreviated form that is num, num for numerator and then for denominator. So, that is it. We are done with a structure definition, okay? Now, we are going to write a function to calculate the addition of two fractions. See, if you have two fractions, say 3 by 4, this is one fraction and the another fraction is 2 by 2 and you want to add this. So, how will you add it? You will do a cross multiplication that is 3 into 2 plus 2 into 4. So, this will gives you a numerator 3 into 2 plus 2 into 4 and how you, how you will get denominator 4 into 2. So, what is the final answer? Denominator will be 8 and here numerator will, numerator will be 14. Okay. So, again we are not going to reduce it. Basically, the final answer is uh, 7 by 4 but we are, we are not going to add that much complexity here because our main concern is on this concept. Definitely you can write a logic for this and you can write it in the comment section. Okay. So, my basic concern is what? When you add two fraction, your output is also what? It is also of type fraction. Means, if I am going to add two fraction, let us consider that we have one add function. So, let us write a function to add a two fraction. So, how it will be? Add let us call a function name as add. It is accepting two fraction, right? So, struct fraction, say f1. We want to add two fractions, so definitely we need another structure variable. So, struct fraction f2. Okay. Now, when you add two fraction f1 and f2, okay, your output is also of type what? Fraction. 
we are not going to return any integer value or decimal value or floating type of value we are returning the fraction itself so my return type is also what a fraction okay definitely we have to say struct right so as we can return integer type of value as we can return float type of value we can return a structure type of value also means we can return a user defined data type here in this case we are returning fraction okay see basically you can't return the multiple values but if that values are composed in single structure variable you can return it remember this thing and here also you can't return multiple structure variable you can return single structure variable only okay so let us write a logic to add two fraction as you can see here okay we have to do a cross multiplication then we have to take a multiplication of both the denominators that is my resultant denominator okay resultant fraction denominator so here i need to create third fraction variable that will hold the result so struct fraction let us call it as f3 so first of all what we will do we will calculate the denominator part and then after we will calculate sorry first of all we will calculate the numerator part and then after we will calculate the denominator part so here i'll say f3 dot numerator okay how you will get numerator you have to multiply f1's numerator with f2's denominator okay so here i'll say f1 dot numerator into f2 dot denominator then addition and then cross multiplication like this f f2's numerator and f1's denominator right so here i'll say f1 denominator into f2's numerator so in this way we will get a resultant fractions numerator now we want to calculate the denominator of resultant fraction that is quite simple you have to simply multiply the denominator of both the fraction so here i'll say f3 dot denominator is equal to f1 dot denominator into f2 dot denominator that's it and then where is your final answer your final answer is in f3 remember this thing okay and f3 contains numerator and denominator if you say return f3 dot num in that case you are return integer type of value but we have to return a value of type fraction so we return f3 done so my main concern is that as you can return a primitive type of data you can return user type of data also that is user defined data type which is created with the help of structure okay so in main function what we are going to do we are going to accept the value of two fraction and then after we are giving call to the add function add function will return the result we will collect it and we will display it on the screen okay so let us try this code in code block so as you can see here i have i have included the necessary header file so here we need on this stdio.h the fraction structure is created and we already saw the definition of this right the add function definition which is returning the structure we are doing a cross multiplication here it should be to f1 dot numerator into f2 dot denominator plus f1 dot denominator into f2 dot numerator and the resultant denominator will be multiplication of two denominators then after we are returning it now let us write a main code so here we need two uh, fractional variables so let me declare it so struct fraction say let us call it as f1 f2 you can define it with another names okay now let us accept the denominator sorry numerator and denominator of both the fractions so let me give a message so printf 
enter first fraction okay let us scan it now while scanning remember this thing we are going to accept numerator and denominator okay so both are of type integer so i have to use percent d percent d percent d so first fraction numerator and first fraction denominator so i'll say f1 dot num comma f1 dot den right in the same way what will i do i'll accept the value for second fraction so let me copy it we'll paste it here so here instead of this what will i say second fraction and what we will, what we will do here we'll place a cursor on the next line so it will look good and here we are going to accept the value of second fraction right sorry two now we have both the fraction the next statement is to give call to the add function so we already wrote it add we want to add fraction f1 and f2 but our function is returning the value and it is returning the value of type structure which is of type fraction so let me collect it so here i declare third variable so f3 is equal to add f1 comma f2 now what we will do we will display the result stored in f3 so here i will say printf percent d and i want to display this slash so i'll say slash so this slash get printed as it is so f3 dot num comma f3 dot den so to the user we are displaying it in a formatted form okay so let us execute it so here i'll enter the same value that we have already calculated that is 3 by 4 and 2 by 2 so see the answer answer is 14 by 8 right see here 14 by 8 so we just displayed the formatted output okay let me close this let me switch to code block see due to this slash that slash get printed as it is now for practice what you can do you can write a subtract function for fraction it also work in the same way instead of addition you have to do what you have to take a subtraction of this similarly you can perform the multiplication you can perform the division also so write that for function give call to that function from the main and try to observe the output so you can also do the practice of it and definitely whatever answer or whatever function you have you can write it to the comment section so i hope you understand this part also if you have any doubts or questions you can definitely write it to me so thank you for watching